have searched the interwebs and found something rare and exciting to share. This is what I'm liking. Not long ago, an English family woke up to a loud thud. They saw what appeared to be a chunk of coal splattered on their driveway. They figured a rude neighbor dumped their barbecue over or something. Uh, but on closer inspection, they discovered something otherworldly. Um, this didn't come from a neighbor at all. It came from the freaking universe, which is cool. A genuine meteorite had crashed down on their driveway. What? Let's talk to the Wilcox, Hannah, Catherine, and Rob, now known around the world as the Meteorite family. What's up, y'all? <laughs> this is the coolest story ever. Do you feel special? You should feel special. <laughs> we didn't plan it. It just sort of happened. <laughs> I know, but that's you're so special. The Meteorite chose you. Um, so take us through when you realized what hit your driveway. How did you find out? Um, well, I was not expecting to hear a meteorite. Um, I was looking for a staycation, actually, um, and I heard something shatter um, on the driveway. It was dark at this point. Got up, had a little uh, look around, didn't see anything. Um, and lo and behold, if it, if it didn't turn out to be a meteorite, which we sort of gradually discovered. Yes, next morning I looked out um, of the window and I saw this kind of pile of soot on the floor. Uh, it was in a pyramid with these little stones and I thought, oh, is it an upturned barbecue that somebody's, you know, been having on our drive? But in the middle of February in lockdown, it's very unlikely. So, and, and it was very, the, the rocks, the stones were very black. So it had to be something different and we started to think. We, we were wondering where, where can this thing possibly have come from? Um, it obviously wasn't thrown from the road, so we thought it must have come from the sky. Uh, it didn't look like an aeroplane piece that had fallen down, so you, you'd start thinking, well, maybe it was from space. So we went on the web, just like you do, and there, there were reports on the web that uh, a fireball had been seen over the UK and that it had possibly uh, deposited bits of meteorite in our area. So then you start thinking, wow, this could be. So he said, if you, might, if you find anything, what you should do is put your rubber gloves on, which I've got here, <laughs> get your plastic bag out and start collecting this stuff up as fast as you can. So that's what I did, um, collected it up, uh, we, re we photographed it, reported it to the right people, uh, and within a couple of days we had scientists from the Natural History Museum in London and from the universities, um, and uh, that when they came, one of them said he felt weak at the knees. Uh, it was just the kind of the, the, the biggest thing in his whole career, and he thought he would probably not see such a thing again in, in his career as a scientist. And from there on, we just knew that this was something pretty big, and uh, it's been wonderful to see how excited these, these very expert people have become. It's four and a half billion years old. And, uh, you know, if you think of that, it's landed on your drive. It's amazing. <laughs> um, this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, I would feel super special if I were y'all. It's just a, <laughs> that's never going to happen anywhere else. So thank you so much for sharing this story, and thank you so much for donating. That's so cool that now science gets to look no at this problem. and they get to figure some stuff out that maybe they didn't know before, right? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Well, I'm liking y'all's post right now. And actually, that's not all. That's not all. This season, we've actually partnered with Pilot Friction Erasable Pen, the go-to pen of the Kelly Clarkson Show. And they want to recognize great people doing great things. So they're just going to give y'all $1,000. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I love your family, by the way. Y'all are so great. Thank you for coming on this show. Thank you. All right. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.